All right, so let's close out on a um, on another note. Um, so Young Buck is broke. I don't even know how to like transition into it other than, you know, people do got to go to work, but Young Buck is broke. And this hurt my heart. This hurt my heart because not too long ago, I was just on here defending Young Buck being like, nah, you know, that's Buck, whatever, whatever. I don't care about the personal issues. Like the music is great. But here we are. So Young Buck went on IG Live explaining to people that he's broke. I guess, you know, the IRS is on his heels again. Um, this isn't, which isn't the first time that he's had troubles with the IRS. Remember, uh, what was it? 2009 when 50 Cent recorded the phone conversation of Buck crying, which. Yeah. I think Buck is just a guy who's just been taken care of by so many people. He's been enabled by, there's always been someone that took care of him. Rather it was 50, juvenile back in the day, somebody. Mm -hmm. He's just relying on people to get him out of his bullshit. You know, so when he put that video out talking about donate a buck for buck, and I'm like, hold up, I think that's just go for me cash app. And then he, then right. people in the comments are like, hold up, where this money going? He talking about he come up with well, you just knowing someone's lying. And they just a bullshit and no yeah. All right, hold on, let's let's get to that in a second. But so the thing, all right, donate a buck for buck. He basically said, yo, I'm broke. I'm living off my girl. I got like a hundred dollars to my name, a hundred dollars in clothes. Boy. Timeline before that, he was faking. Them. I'm telling you, before that, he was faking it and, and had the nerve to say it was for a charity. Oh, so that was beforehand? <laughs> That's the one I'm talking about. That's what I did a video on. He tried to front and say that it was going to families in need and a midlife crisis. I'm like, right, how was a family in a midlife crisis? And I'm like, boy. And then the fans blew him up and said, no, nigga, that's going to you. Then that's when he came out and said what you just said. Okay, so so I got it backwards. <laughs> Yeah, then okay. he told the truth after people called him out on his bullshit. Because in my video, what I, like, my theory was the reason he, so, all right, let's just, hypothetically, let's say the way that it happened was backwards, the way I had it, the buck for buck and then the go, um, then the nonprofit. Because I was like, you know, this guy has had troubles with the IRS. And if you had troubles with the IRS, what's one of the easiest ways to avoid paying taxes? create a nonprofit, you know, and that is usually how to avoid. So I thought that's what he was doing. Cause I'm like, hold up, you're creating it for families in need, but you just told everybody you were in need. He ain't so that <laughs> he ain't that smart. He had a restaurant at one point. He should have kept that on, but he's not that smart. Everyone know Buck gonna smoke that money up. If you really think if he was if he was doing it, if he was gonna put it out there and just say, hey y'all, I'm in debt with the IRS. But the truth is it's not even just them, it's like child support. Yeah, it's studio time. He's got to pay fifty back. It's a lot of things, but I'm like, I don't. I think he's just really pocketing that bread. I don't think he's really using that and paying back any of his. There's nothing. No, no shame in saying, "Hey, can y'all help me raise this money so I can pay back this?" Right. But it's just putting it in your pocket and probably supporting your habit. And that I'm like, a game gave him a thousand dollars. Yeah, I, yeah, game gave him a rack, which you know, some people. Me, I'd have been like, "What the fuck is a thousand dollars?" Like, yeah, you get too, it. Like, you said donate a buck for buck, man. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because he was like, you know, I got close to a million fans, so if everybody gave buck a buck. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know, man. It's it's just humbling because this is a dude at one point used to walk around with eighty thousand dollars in his mouth. He had yeah. A grill. Yeah, and that that's the that's the real um, lesson here, I guess, is you know. Because a lot of rappers do be on IG fronting like they got it like that. Mm -hmm. And we know, and you know, we know that some of them don't, but we can't tell who's who from the real, from the fake. And like you pointed out um, episodes ago that how are some of these rappers going to survive this pandemic? Because a lot of them, you know, they can't get out on, on the road. They can't, you know, do these walkthroughs. And Buck is still in contact contract with 50 which is why he can't release any music so he put out mixtape and they're pretty dope but um you can't go and do no fucking shows and, right and, and, and perform this these this music right you can't do that right now i mean some people are you know but you can't really it's no more and right now with that whole other thing over his head uh his credibility's taking a hit also so he's kind of just in the corner strapped down and <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot. Man. 
Yeah, it is, is man. No one embarrasses themselves more than Young Buck and Ja Rule. Damn, yeah, that's right. Ja Rule, ja Rule turned a- into ja Rule laughing Murphy. stock. Yeah, I heard that was for like a TV show. I heard it was just for a commercial for a place in Jersey by your neck of the woods. That's a Gyro spot. And uh, Ja Rule was just, he got paid to do the commercial. He got paid the second job. Yeah. The, the, the whole catalog for two million, you know that? No. Yeah, so he don't own none of his shit. And wow. He to cover debt. So, I mean, that Ja Rule, that was sad too. I mean, I probably would have laughed at that a year ago, but now I'm like, that was just... Yeah, when you see what people got to do to pay the bills, it's kind of, it's humbling. The names of the food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's Greek food. You really, yeah. like. At least say, yo, Ja, this is how you say it. I'm pretty sure T.I. couldn't fucking pronounce half that shit. No, nah, but they could at least say, yo, Ja, this is how you say this. Don't, don't, they, 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 it looked like a bad George Sink commercial. Not George Sink, uh, J.G. Wentworth. One of the parody commercials. Yeah, yeah. Come Which, on. But, you know, the crazy part is that company's stock had boomed and, and the company's out of California. It, everybody thought it was Jersey, but they're, oh. it's a California uh, business. Yeah. So not getting any of that, though. As long as they just oh, take nah. commercial and just say, okay. I'm sure, I'm sure he got, like, whatever his, like, appearance fee is. And yeah. that was that because, like, they, I mean, all publicity is good publicity, apparently, because that was a horrible commercial. But it went viral on social media and everybody, like, you know, I was, shit, now I got to go see what this place is about. Yeah. Like, let me get that thing that Ja Rule said he liked that he can't pronounce. Like, yeah, it better be a black company, a soul food spot, a food black spot. It would have been a good look, but come on, man. Right. Well, see, that's the problem. So if it was a black company, he did it like that, we would... Nah, people not were, that, that, It was still too coonish. It was still too, right. too crowish to me, but it was, you know... There was a, they could have had Ja eating watermelons and drinking grape soda for all I fucking know. Yikes! <laughs> watch, man. So I don't know who had a word, Young Buck or Ja Rule, but Damn. Put that on. Who, who was who? Ja Buck. Is, yeah. Right. Oh shit! There's a fucking Black Lives Matter protest going right by the house right now. Wow! Get out there and join the people, man. Nah, social distancing. Like the powers that be. That's pretty cool. Beat shit with the bullhorn. <laughs> <laughs>